So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 7 of the in brackets FIFA 14 career mode and we're kicking off this episode with a away game um, to Cardiff City and we ended up winning that 2-1. Uh, we did actually decide to sim that because we are in the middle of a uh, transfer period. Um, I have lost some footage, I've lost a whole episode footage so I'm sorry about that but we are in the transfer period and we've decided that because there's not much long left we just wanted to bring in some good players. So Jordi Alba was the first player that we were going to try and launch into the club. Um, obviously, um, there's not. Obviously, we're only going to be able to get up to episode nine, which I've already recorded. So I've, I'll tell you the plan of episodes. So what we got is Monday, which is you, which is already gone. But on Monday there will be the um, episode number six of this on Monday afternoon. There will be this one, which is the one you're watching now. So this is Monday afternoon. Um, Tuesday will be the video um, where I'll be... Well, it's basically going to be the video um, saying which team you want me to be in for your 14 career mode, which I have narrowed it down now um, to a limited four teams. And that's going to be the video on Tuesday. On Wednesday is going to be episode number eight. And on um, Thursday is going to be episode number nine. And maybe on f oh, Friday afternoon or Friday night will be the first episode of the FIFA 14 career mode. So um, basically, these are the new players we have decided that we wanted to bring in. Um, as you saw there, we did end up selling Eric Lamella. Um, we sold him to Real Madrid for 39 million. So pretty much nearly 40 million. Um, we decided that it would be good if we could get Cristiano Ronaldo, but things didn't seemed like we were going to get him. Um, we decided to offer 40 million plus Soldado and they said they were interested in the player but they wanted 73 million which no way have we got 73 million uh, for Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, the maximum we, we could possibly actually offer is 60 million. Um, the next player that we were very interested in was Frank Ribery. Only 26 million they wanted um, or his estimated value for Frank River, we knew they'd probably want nearly about 40 million for him, but uh, we might as well offer that. We did then advance, and we, as you see here, the contract offer was accepted for Jordi Alba, so he was our first player um, joining Tottenham Hotspur. So we're very grateful to have a player of his quality joining the club, um, and obviously it's always good when we get a player like him, but obviously because we're near the near the end of the FIFA 13 campaign we're not going to be playing in much so basically we just wanted fully grown players for the last few episodes we didn't want any players that are going to be um like you have to wait three seasons till they start being good otherwise there's no point signing them because we're only going to be playing them through around about five six games so there's just no point um but they, well me personally and the rest is already going to be simmed because there's not enough time to do it so i have simmed the rest of the season, but I've already finished playing FIFA 13 anyway. I've pretty much thrown FIFA 13 in the bin. Obviously, I haven't, but it's pretty much there. I don't play on it anymore um, because I'm. I just can't wait until the it comes out. Uh, FIFA 14 is going to be amazing when it comes out. Obviously, some of you guys might already have it, and if you do, you're lucky bastards because I'd love to have it. Um, but I just don't see the point of paying an extra 25 euros for. Uh, just like three days, three early days access, just don't see the point. But that's my point of view and not yours. Um, obviously, you guys really think it's a good idea, but I don't, so <laughs> that's basically it. Um, as you see there, I just don't really know what to comment on this because it, I know it's pretty boring for you guys watching this. Um, it's pretty boring for me to comment over it as well. Uh, for Seth Fabregas, we did actually try and bring into the club um, Paulinho. We offered Paulinho uh, plus yeah, Paulinho plus ten million uh, for him, and they did actually accept the transfer offer, which I was very very surprised about. Um, but it was just the contract offer that he was declining. He didn't want to accept the contract because of something. Um, he was saying because he thinks he's like a really big player at his club at Barcelona now and he doesn't think that um, he doesn't really want to move location etc but we decided 170 grand uh, for Cesc Fabregas a week so he's going to be our highest uh, paid player uh, just to see if we can bring him into the club and Frank Ribery they wanted 42 million for him and we decided to go ahead and match that for Frank Ribery so Frank Ribery to see if we could lure him into the club. Obviously, it would be amazing if we could. 
Our next game was going to be up against Manchester United, but before that we did have some un dumb business to do first just to see if we could bring in a player just before the Manchester United game um, things didn't look very promising apart from we brought in Maburak Wakaso which I was pretty happy about uh, bringing in a player he's quite good only 22 years old um, and 75 overall so happy to bring a club a player of his quality into the club um, there's a few players here that I was inquiring about uh, but they just didn't like for example there Danilo, or Danilo sorry uh, just to see if we could bring him in but we just wasn't going to be using him and 9.5 million for him isn't a bad price if you're going to be playing a lot more FIFA 13 but I'm not so there's just going to be no point whatsoever um, and I just uh, it's just because you guys it's probably not going to get a good response anyway because you guys are probably going to be preferring to watch FIFA 14 videos which I don't blame you because I obviously would as well but um, we are actually approaching this video now approaching the end of it um, we decided Adam Lajic, we were going to do a straight swap for Nasa Chadley, I believe. And thankfully, I did actually accept the offer, a straight swap for Nasa Chadley, which I was happy about because Nasa Chadley, I don't, I just don't get on well with him. I don't think he's that good. You know, 80 rated, I think he's, but he's just not my type of player. He he will be in FIFA 14 because FIFA 14 is not m much about speed. But we're now approaching the end of this episode, so please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and hope to see you next time on whatever that episode might be. Bye-bye.